So this is how I would go about it. Um, I have a few leaves as sub tools and then I would have like a neck collar kind of shape. You may want to break yours up into like four pieces because you have so many. But um, basically I would like try to create a bridge underneath them with just a blob of, of Dynamesh. So you can fill in those negative spaces, those little areas, because these leaves are so thin, in order to sort of reproject, you're gonna need some sort of connections. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm kind of making this blob, just filling up those little empty back areas. Um, you know, obviously if you didn't have to make a low poly, you wouldn't have to worry about this, but for a game, I guess you would have to try to merge everything together. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of like, creating some sort of blob <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to edit I tried to edit this video so there's not so much so it's not so so long but anyway um, that's what I did here kind of made this blob I had to set it to um, ghost transparent in order to sculpt and actually move the clay because it wasn't moving every time I was near the leaf so when you put it to transparent ghost it actually does work and push and pull easier so you know I'm just filling in the areas um, basically getting a bait you know a good shape behind there so maybe I should edit that so now that I've got this kind of shape behind the leaves I'm just gonna make sure it's not protruding later you'll see after I do that remesh by Union there was a few protruding pieces and it kind of created bad geometry, but I had to just do another Z remesh. I had to close the holes and do a Z remesh. So right now I'm merging all these uh, pieces together into one subtool, one tool. And then I'm going to go up to, oh, I'm going to auto group just to show you that there's all different pieces. Then I'm going to go to scale, click the gear icon and go over to remesh by union. And now, you know, it's just going to remesh. It's going to subtract all the interior parts, but it's going to keep all the geometry. Now I'm auto grouping, so you can tell that now it's all one solid water type piece. And, uh, you know, you could smooth out. Obviously, it's not good geometry, so you could use what I just did, Sculptus Pro, to make more details or do whatever you want, smooth it out with Sculptress because you're just basically going to want to Z remesh and project after. So you could do some more sculpting now, now that it's unified. Where I'm showing you right now with the Damon standard, just kind of, you know, cleaning it up, making it pretty. So I duplicated the tool, and then now I'm going to go Z remesh, and um, I think I'm doing half. Um, Basically, I edited this, so you, you know, it was quick, but it takes a few minutes. Uh, and then I'll just subdivide that tool, like, one to two times, and then reproject the other original subtool. So I just divided it twice. Now I have to scroll around to find uh, project all. Basically just project the same details on divide it up again and project again um, what I did notice on the center in the center areas of these leaves is another a group another group so you know and some wacky geometry that's pretty much I think that's from the blob of Dynamesh that I had underneath so it wasn't it was still kind of coming through so it didn't delete that fully so I'm sort of just trying to um, smooth it out right now but what I end up doing is closing the holes right around now I close the holes and then I do a remesh by union again just in case there's interior intersecting pieces uh, that we don't want so then I Z remesh this again and then do the same process again where I just project the um, nice original 
And uh, so pretty much that's it. That's the way I would go about doing this leaf neck that you that you have. Since you have like a lot of little branches, a lot of leaves, you may want to break yours up into, I don't know, a few pieces. Maybe the maybe the branches are all like in groups, and uh, you could break the whole neck. The, break the neck you could break the whole collar up into maybe four pieces five pieces and then just you know try to do a, a low poly z remesh um i don't know how low you're gonna get but you know you may be able to get it pretty low and then project like subdivide project it up and then uh yeah good luck